somebody said something, I think. Let me see. What do you think is, uh, what is the expression? A sweet tooth. Uh, having a taste, a preference for sweet things. Yes, a preference for sweet things. That's right. Thank you. And the last but not the least, I feel, I feel silly. I got so excited when he said I'd won the lottery, but he was only pulling my leg. <laughs> he was only joking, right? He was pulling my leg. In Spanish, we say, me estaba tomando el pelo. He was pulling my leg. All right, there are other expressions that we can use with parts of, uh, of the body. For example, heart, head, hand, foot, and hair. Right, um, I don't remember very well now, but I have here my cheat sheet. You know what a cheat sheet is? I will write it here. Probably you know. Cheat sheet. This is something that most students use. You know what it is? A cheat sheet? Uh, Daniel said that is a torpedo. Yes, I have, in case I forget, I have my cheat sheet here <laughs> to help me. But for example, for heart, we have to break uh, someone's heart, right, in relation to this one. When you break some someone's heart and then we have um let me see have a heart of gold when people are very very um, good we say and they have a heart of gold right or open your heart open your heart to someone right and regarding head uh, let me see something which is easy to understand uh, bury your head in the sand. I will write it here. Bury your head. Bury your head in the sand. Uh, I think I didn't write anything. <laughs> Sorry. I thought that I, were, I, that I wrote something, but I didn't write anything. Bury your head in the sand. Okay. Bury your head in the sun. When you are in the bars, probably you don't want anybody wants to see what you have done. You say oh. bury your head in the sand. Right? And then we have uh, Something else, let me see. Uh, hit the nail on the head. Cuando le damos el clavo, hit the nail on the head, right? And regarding a uh, hand, you have your hands full. And you see, to have someone in the palm of your hand, you, when you can do whatever you want with a person. And uh, let me see, is this something? Lend someone. Them. Yes, right. Very good. Okay. I think it's time for us to stop. And uh, there is something that we couldn't do it on our own uh, in the class, but you can do on your own is in relation to numbers. You can see um, everything is there on Educa for you to. Um, to find the answers and to um, to listen to the recording, right? Before we finish the lesson, I would like to know whether you have any questions because the next class we're going to have a test, right? In relation to and um, in relation to um, units number seven and eight. Right, it's going to uh, measure uh, speaking, reading, writing, and listening. Right, 
uh, uh, regarding the speaking part, probably I will ask you to present something that you record a video and present something that I would let you know. Probably you can work in pairs. Can you, uh, which day, the same day uh, or next uh, Monday yeah? in class? The, the test will be done in class because I will be there for you in case you need some help. Right? Sometimes you can have some problems, but I'll be there during the, the test, right? to provide help. And the recording, I will let you know during the week what you should do. I, I was thinking if you could work a lunes feriado. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> okay, don't worry. We can wait for another week then. So the next, it would be then on the 19th of, um, on the 19th of October, right? So don't worry, you have two, two weeks. But anyway, I will um, send you um, by email um, in the instructions for the recording, for the presentation. I was wondering if you could work uh, in pairs because that would be much easier for you and for me as well. Is it possible that you can work with a partner? Um, probably I will ask you to research uh, about a topic and then present some something. I will give you um a week i think because uh, i think that tomorrow or on wednesday i will upload all the instructions for you to follow and the test will be then on the 19th of october right so if you have any questions during the week don't hesitate and send me an email right i'll be there for you or you can use also the whatsapp but please um try not to <laughs> send uh, we'll talk in the, in the in, at night, late at night, because I have to sleep at night. Okay, enjoy the, the holiday and take care and thank you for coming and have a, a nice week, right? Take care and see you soon. Whatever you need, just send me an email. Bye. Have a nice day, you too, teacher. See ya. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you for everything. Thank you for attending the lesson and take care. You too. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Brian, Nicholas, and Kurt, and Helga Falconery. Bye. Bye, Brian. Are you there?